and hover.com slash gadget TV. Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com. And today we're taking a look at the LG Quantum Windows Phone 7 phone. You can get this guy for about $500, obviously a lot less if you're willing to sign a long-term contract. Now, at first blush, it might look like a feature phone. It has kind of rounded edges, a rubberized bezel around the outside here. However, it, it is uh, meeting with Windows 7 phone, Windows Phone 7, I should say, spec, which requires a 1 gigahertz processor and a minimum of 256 megabytes of RAM. Now, what sets this phone apart from other Windows Phone 7 phones currently in the market is that this one has a slide-out QWERTY keyboard. Now, this keyboard is actually very, very responsive. It's a, pretty much a joy to type on. The keys are very responsive. You get a, a real kind of click-back um, experience as you're, as you're typing. Now, you can see that when you slide it out, uh, the, the Windows Phone 7 OS doesn't actually translate that well to uh, landscape right off the bat. However, when you're in uh, an application that requires typing, it will flip into, as you see here, it will flip into uh, landscape mode. So if we were to go in and try and type an email, for example, you can see we now have access to uh, a landscape mode. Now, if we flip it back into portrait mode, we can still use the on-screen keyboard if we want to, very much like uh, the HTC 7 Surround that we've looked at in a previous episode of Gadget TV. Now, on the phone, we have a hardware Windows button. This, we'll use this to go back to uh, the home screen at any time. We also have capacitive touch buttons for back and for search. On the side of the device, we have a volume up and down rocker and a dedicated camera button. Now, like any Windows Phone 7 phone, if we hold this button, we'll be taken into the camera mode. Like I say, hit the Windows button to go home at any time. On the side, we have a micro B USB charging port. On the back, this is actually a metal clad case, a metal uh, battery door, which does feel quite nice in the hand. We also have a five megapixel camera with flash. Now down on the bottom here, this is a speaker grill. That's for uh, ringing and for speakerphone and for watching movies and things like that. So like I say, the thing that really sets this phone apart is the slide-out QWERTY keyboard. Very nice to type on. But we can still use it as a touch phone. This is a full 3.8-inch uh, capacitive touch screen. Now, we've looked at how to use the Windows Phone 7 operating system in a previous episode of Gadget TV. That was when we were looking at the HTC 7 Surround. We'll put a link to that in the show notes on butterscotch.com if you want to get a better idea of how Windows Phone 7 works. A couple final notes. This phone does allow us to record video in 720p. There's also a panoramic photo mode that actually works really well. So if we fire that up really quickly, what will happen is we, we shoot our first photo. And now it directs us where we need to point the camera next in order to take our next photo. Now it'll take five photos and stitch them together. Like I say, uh, panoramic photo mode, kind of a rare thing on a, uh, on a smartphone like this, um, but it really is well implemented. So that's a quick look at the LG Quantum Windows Phone 7 phone. Don't let looks fool you. It really is a full-featured smartphone. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.